Welcome to ETR 241 Electronic Communications in the Spring 2019 semester as an online course. My name is Eric Bretter and I will be teaching this particular course. This video will serve as an introduction to the course, the format, and everything you should need to know to get started. First off, we'll go over some of the basic syllabus items so that you're aware of the course, the structure, and what to look forward to. You can pull up the syllabus at any point on my website, ebreader.org slash sp19etr241.html. I will also link that in an email coming with this video. And that will bring you to this website here. On this website, you can find ETR 241 as our last class. And by clicking there, the syllabus is right at the top. If you need anything throughout the semester, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is ebretter at pvcc.edu. My phone number is also listed in the syllabus, although email is the best way to get in touch with me. My office is in the BMT office in 266, and my office hours are Monday 12 to 4, Tuesday 12 to 3, and Wednesday 12 to 3. So feel free to come in, ask any questions, work on any projects, meet me in the lab, and if those hours don't work for you, feel free to email me and set up a separate time so that we can go over any of the projects or the labs throughout the semester. There's a lot of required materials for this particular class. Make sure you have all of these things. If you have trouble getting stuff, let me know. Everything should be available in the bookstore, and also you can check the links to buy things online. As we move forward, this particular class will involve communication protocols. We're going to talk about AM, FM, different types of radio waves, signal modulation, effects of noise. We'll also integrate Bluetooth, uh, LoRa, long range RF, Wi-Fi, and a few other things to expand our experience in a bunch of different communication protocols. Grading is set up as 20% participation. This means that if there's a required discussion, you will be posting in an appropriate manner. If there is an assignment, a lab, or a project, you are contributing and doing the best to complete the project. Our documentation is going to be an online, ongoing journal that will look at some of the projects and you will write down technical documentation based on what you're working on. The labs and projects will formulate a large chunk of the class each week, there will be a new lab or a new project in order to build a new skill. This course is intended to be as hands-on as possible for an online course. Our final project is going to be 15% of our final grade. That should be a culmination project of everything that we've done, and that will be discussed further in the semester. I will go over documentation in a separate video, so we're going to skip that for now. Please make sure that you Submit all of your projects and assignments in a timely fashion. I will provide forms for you in order to submit a particular piece of documentation. If you can't submit something or you struggle with something, please let me know within 24 hours of a due date, just so that we can stay on the same page. I know a lot of people have a lot of things going on. Um, so I just want to make sure that we can work together to make this a great learning experience. The course itself is going to be set up where on Thursdays we'll pose a new topic and a new project. That means that you will have about Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to work on that particular project topic and do some research. On Tuesday, I will post a, a solution or a hint or something that will help you finish that project. So you can post and submit your finished assignment by Tuesday or Wednesday. I will also add anything else that maybe came up in the discussions on that Tuesday as well. So basically our cycle is going to be every Thursday something new will get posted and then every Tuesday we'll close out that week. Today is our Tuesday but we had no Thursday so you're getting an introduction to the class. Expect on Thursday that you'll get new content for the actual class. Much of the content is posted on the website that I showed at the beginning of this video and the discussions will be held in Google Groups, which I, the link to that is also 
posted on the website. Our schedule is roughly going to exist of looking at some of the tools for class, going through that long list and what their purposes are. We'll do a general overview of communication systems. We'll talk about radio frequencies. We'll build transmitters. We'll talk about SSB modulation. We'll build antennas. We'll talk about radio wave propagations. And then that's a good time for a uh, first project to, to combine some of these things. So we'll have labs throughout and then something that will pull a lot of this stuff together and that will coincide nicely with our spring break. And then we're gonna break out into different types of communication. So we'll look at LoRa, we'll build a network of LoRa, um, we'll talk about some noise effects on the system and how to deal with those. We'll build an understanding of Bluetooth, some Wi-Fi, and then we'll work on a final project that will culminate all of these things. Our final exam is going to be um, this date, uh, this week, 513. So we'll come up with a way to finish off the class as the class moves along. The rest of the syllabus is PVCC template. So make sure to read through some of these things to make sure you're on track or if you struggle with anything, there's a lot of help within here. If you need to know dates, the academic calendar is linked here. If you're thinking about dropping the course, have to be done within the 31st of January. And if you'd like to withdraw without a grade penalty so you'll get a W, that will be April 1st. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email me. If you need to receive an incomplete grade, you must have completed 60% of the course requirements and two faculty members must assign the ink. Here's a few links throughout. I'll slowly scroll through them to make sure that you can kind of see what's available. And if you need anything, you can always let me know. All of this is available on the PVCC website. You probably won't have to deal with inclement weather. Um, the last thing, if you are taking other classes, it's nice to register for text alerts. You can do that through here. If you have any questions about the syllabus, please email me. This is going to be available on this website here, and this will be updated weekly. So that means on Thursday, we'll have a new post. That next Tuesday, we'll have another new post. And onward from there, I'll email as well to follow up with certain updates. So make sure to check your PVCC email in order to receive those updates. Here's our main course required materials. This will allow us to build a hands-on course. Anything like the classes, they'll be listed here. And if when this gets really long, you can use the menus to pull back at the top. Here. We'll go over documentation guidelines in a separate video. And if you need to come in, there'll be open lab hours for uh, 8.33 and 8.31 at Piedmont Virginia Community College. Uh, if there's something you'd like to let me know, but you don't want your name attached to it, you can always fill out the synonymous feedback form and I'll check that and hopefully tweak the class to, to your needs so that things don't accelerate faster than you anticipated or something isn't working for you, we can change it. The last thing that I'll state, um, we created a Google Groups discussion board. There's a first post here, so feel free to post uh, within here to reply for the first topic to make sure that it's working. You will have to go through and change your name so it's not your username posting uh, and make sure that you add post by the end of this week. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to email. I will follow up this Thursday with our first set of assignments and information to get started with the actual class and we'll build a better understanding of uh, communication protocols, troubleshooting techniques, and different hardware that should allow us to experiment with some of these technologies.